Good. Good afternoon. Let's see if anyone joins me. Hello. Nice. So today I'm doing a live review of the Royal Danith Tors Hammer. Uh, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I uh, sadly I live next to to a tram station and cars and stuff. Yeah, but I will do a live review of. Uh, Royal Danish Thor's hammer today. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, there's a spider right behind my phone at the moment. <laughs> but hey. Uh, okay, so let's start. The cold draw, I get uh, it's a little bit herby. Um, still, most of it it's hay. And then let's light this up. Once again, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Can't do much about it. Spider, go away. Go away. It starts off a little bit, I would I say, a little spicy in the background. Um, there's a, a woody uh, note covering the top of the mouth. Like, a, I don't know. It's... Hmm. It's like a chili spiciness in the back. It's not acidic, uh, but it's um, it's mostly woody, like a like an oak wood uh, covering the roof of the mouth. Um, a little nuttiness, like uh, hazelnuts. Um, and like a chili spice in the back. A lot of smoke. That's for sure. So for the new viewers, I'm reviewing the Thor's Hammer from uh, Royal Danish Cigars. Um, I think this will hit the market pretty soon. Um, maybe uh, December or around that. I got this from uh, Jan Wisselsen from Royal Danish Cigars uh, to try. And I thought it would be fun to, uh, to do a live review of it. Hello Morten, welcome to my stream. And, uh, hello Henrik Rydberg and 
Oysten from Norway, hello. Yeah, I, I, I was given this uh, in, uh, in Germany uh, to try. I thought today would be a good day. It's not too chilly, it's 10 degrees outside. Um, and uh, I maybe do another uh, review later on today. But uh, I will start with, uh, with this one. So I will just write down the flavors that I felt in the beginning. So it was a uh, oak uh, woodiness um, uh, in the roof. Roof. I can't spell. Uh, off the mouth. Yeah, this should hit the market pretty soon. Uh, I think Jan said around Christmas or maybe a little bit after. Uh, Oakwood... Uh, early Spice... In the back... And... <laughs> well, Alexander, it's it's 10 degrees outside. Uh, yesterday, when I did a review, it was 5 degrees outside. That was cold, uh, so it's not too uh, too chilly right now. Anna, uh, yeah, um, I felt a little bit of chilly in the background in the beginning. Now it's not so spicy, but there's still something in the back. Oh, nice. I'm just well prepared. The scarf, uh, the warm jacket, I have my, my gloves as well if I need them. But uh, I don't think it, it should be too cold. And I'm, I'm sorry for the tram sounds in the background, I live next to the tram station, so... A lot of smoke. It's burning a little wonky. Could be just because I'm sitting outside and it's the wind is blowing that way. Um, we will see. At least the ash is uh, whitish. Looks good. Is that one of your first cigars? Yeah, this is my, my first cigar of today. Um, I've been busy with other stuff before, and I got a little bit of free time now, uh, so I felt why not go out and do a review. No gloves on right now, maybe later, if it gets too cold. It's a bit sad that the the recording when I save down the video later on the the messengers aren't there anymore. But hey, uh, I'm smoking the Royal Danish Thor's Hammer. It's uh, one of three new releases from Royal Danish. Uh, I have this one, and I think I have uh, another one as well. Uh, of the other sizes. I will see if I can do a review on on the other one as well. So this will be released probably around Christmas or maybe a bit after. I like the taste so far. I think this is more of a 
a winter or like autumn winter cigar than um, spring summer uh, sure the size is a bit bigger than most uh, winter cigars um, we smoke up here in the north uh, but uh, yeah good flavor something that I look for uh, when doing reviews when it's a bit colder outside is cigars with more flavor um, usually you don't know the flavor before you smoke it but I have a quite good uh, theory around uh, picking a cigar that will fit how many cigars do you usually smoke a day um, so let's say I smoke maybe once Not every day, like every second day, uh, and I usually smoke maybe one or two cigars. Uh, sure, yesterday I smoked a cigar for for re review, and uh, today I'm I'm doing one as well. Um, maybe tomorrow I won't smoke any cigars. Um, it's rare I smoke more than two cigars a day. Uh, it happens that I I do uh, if there's an event maybe there's four cigars. Uh, it have happened uh, I smoked 14 cigars during an event. Um, do not recommend. <laughs> you get really tired, uh, but usually it's it's two cigars or or none. good flavor on this one so smoke smoke is uh, voluminous white and cool yeah the, the smoke isn't too warm or it isn't warm at all and uh, it's it's cool it's not too uh, too heavy or too warm, I should say. The burn, it's 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 burning quite well. Sure, it's uh, a little bit wonky on the side, but it's it's burning well. Um, no flaky, it's so it's pretty stable. Um, and the ash is it's white. Yeah, fourteen cigars. I know, crazy. Price. Um, I can't say really what the price will be. I think it will be around uh, maybe 90 to so 90 crowns to maybe 100 crowns. So that should be around 8 to 10 euros, I think. Maybe even cheaper. I don't know. Uh, I haven't talked to. Uh, to Jan about the prices. Uh, usually, when I, I get cigars, I don't uh, look up the prices, so the price don't affect my opinion about the cigar. Take care, Alexander. We'll see each other later. So this is the the middle size. There will be uh, another one that's shorter, like a shorter busto. And also, uh, a really should be this size, a big one. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> if you wrote to me before, I I could uh, head there. Um, or if you want, you can uh, come to my place <laughs> and uh, smoke a cigar here. Sadly, I don't have any coffee here or stuff like that, but yeah. Burn. Wonky, stable, 
Ash. White. Yeah. Second. Second, third will start. Let's see here. Um, one third, two thirds. So I probably start around here for the uh, second third. I think. Yeah, should be fair. Yeah, shit happens. True, true. A lot of smoke. For sure. For the new viewers, I'm smoking the Royal Danish Thor's Hammer, one of three sizes, uh, should be available around and after Christmas. Yeah, yeah, sure. I like smoking the pipe, I, I, I don't smoke so often, um, I find it easier to light up a cigar then light up a pipe, but uh, smoking pipe it's cool. Um, yeah, why not try a cigar? I'm uh, I'm sure you find something that you like. Do so. <laughs> I work Saturday. If you want to come by on Saturday, I, I work then. Uh, I think I, I've been smoking this for maybe 15 or 10 minutes, I think. Um, since I'm sitting outside, of course, it will burn a little bit faster because there's a lot more air around here. Sorry. I'm just gonna fix this burn because a lot on one side and nothing on the other side. Just so when I get to the second part it will be more more fair. I'm thinking about maybe uploading these videos to, to YouTube. Uh, so if someone missed uh, my live reviews, they can find it on YouTube. Yeah, looks good. I will... Sure, this looks like good, but I like to tip off the ash. Or maybe I should... Uh, it's 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 stable when tapped, so yeah, maybe I can leave it on. Take care. We'll see each other. Thanks for stopping by. Now I'm getting a little bit of uh, uh, lightly toasted wood. Yeah, take care Charles. We'll talk uh, on Messenger later on. Oh, it's cool. I can't see uh, when people jump out or come back in. So it's cool. <laughs> I 
I will though take off the the giant cigar band um, because it's creeping up to yeah I don't want to burn it I want to save it <laughs> balance the cigar on the side here yeah so it's there Thor's hammer Say that to the side, and if someone asks, I can always show them. Starting to creep up on the second part. As I said, uh, there's like a slightly not burnt, but like toasted uh, toasted wood uh, taste. There's still hazelnuts um, and a little bit of leather, I would say. Um, there's no spiciness of uh, of like a chili, like I felt in the first part. Uh, it's a lot more subtle now. I will just write that down before I forget. Um, lightly. Toasted um, wood, so not leather notes. Welcome, new people. To my live review of the Royal Danish Thor's Hammer. Let's see Earth. Yeah, it's it's smoking well. It's got the uh, Good ash pile. There's people walking by, wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe it seems a little bit odd fit, sitting here and talk, talking to the phone. Good day. So far, it's a pretty good cigar, I would say. Uh, sure, it's two thirds left. Uh, anything can happen. But so far, it's looking good. Good ash. A lot of smoke. It's good. Sure, burning a little bit wonky, but I think it's the wind around me uh, that's uh, making that. Just give it a little helping hand so it can straighten up a little bit. Or maybe I should publish this live reviews on uh, on my blog as well. Maybe.
Hello, new people. Ciao. Or hello. Or hey, as we say in Sweden. Uh, I'm doing a, a live review of uh, Royal Danish Thor's Hammer. I hope you. I hope you're good, Yuan. I hope you have a better weather over in Rome than here. It's uh, 10 degrees Celsius outside. Um, a little bit chilly, but I'll survive. Yeah, really good ash. I will take a little photo of this, so I can send it over to to Jan. Um, or maybe publish it. Let's put on the flash, so it's possible to see it. Maybe not like that. Oh well, 20 degrees, oh hell, I wish we had that here, <laughs> so I could go with, without my warm scarf. Yeah, okay great, I will I will see if I can uh, publish the, the videos um, on my blog later. someone missed before I'm in the or I'm on the second third of uh, the Royal Danish Thor's hammer um, yeah take care Yuan nice that you can join um, it's uh, like a lightly toasted oak wood feel uh, in the th top of the mouth. There's also uh, a leather uh, note on the tongue, and also some um, some hazelnuts. Like a yeah, this good nutty flavor you get. It looks good. I know it's a little bit dark here. But it's one of the few places where I can sit outside, mostly undisturbed. Damn. What a fantastic ash. I'm used that most ashes just fall off. But hey. I'm thinking maybe doing uh, one more review today. I have, uh, I think, two choices. Either a shiny cigar, uh, I think nobody have ever seen before, um, or maybe the bespoke uh, traditional line Lancero or Gran Café no, Gran Café is another one, just Lancero um, maybe I will do a, a re review on that later I'm thinking maybe the Chinese cigar because it's uh, different and uh, it was quite almost impossible to find any information on it online so that could be fun or maybe I should do a review on that uh, indoors but hey I do reviews 
and I always write down if it's cold outside or if it's warm uh, so people know uh, how that could affect the cigars to, during the reviews. This is good. I think when this will be re released, I think around Christmas, I'm gonna buy some more of this because this is good. It's more of an uh, everyday cigar, I think. Uh, I think the price will be around 8 to 10 euros, uh, so not too expensive. Where can I buy Chinese cigars? And do you know if there's some Japanese cigars? Um, I got given two Chinese cigars from, from a friend that went there uh, recently. Uh, I don't think... I'm sorry. Uh, the Chinese cigars will be... Available outside of China. Uh, I know one of the brands that I've done a review on lately, uh, Great Wall Cigars, and they will have their 100th uh, anniversary next year. Um, perhaps then they will release maybe a cigar that will be available for um, the wide market uh, across uh, Europe and the US. Probably Europe first. Uh, when I went down to Intertabac uh, a month ago in uh, in uh, Germany, uh, the, I think the, either it's the biggest or the second biggest tobacco fair in, in the world, um, there were some Chinese uh, tobacco um, producers there uh, that tried to um, bring in their brands to Europe. So I think more and more Chinese cigars will appear in Europe the upcoming years. Uh, but I don't think uh, we as consumers will get our hands on, on them uh, for at least one or two years. Um, yeah, Japanese cigars, I don't know, maybe. Um, I don't know if I have any Japanese friends. Um, uh, that smoke cigars but I will do my research and see if there's any Japanese cigars uh, I would love to try uh, something if there's any yeah any type of cigars from any type of the world would be cool to try I know I have some Japanese readers on my reviews on my blog It's a good flavor on this. I wish I brought a flashlight or something because it's getting kind of dark in here. Or maybe I could move out to, to get some more light. We'll see. The stream has been going for uh, a little bit more than a half an hour. So I think the stream will end in maybe 25 minutes. Uh, but I will finish the cigar, uh, maybe not on stream, uh, but I will um, put together a review and uh, maybe publish it today or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it would be cool to try some Japanese cigars, if there is any. Their, uh, their whiskey and, and rum are really good, uh, and a lot of people like the the Japanese cuisine as well um, so yeah should be interesting and there I dropped the ash oh well it lasted for a while almost half of the cigar was just ash as you saw in the video the good thing about the ash from the cigars 
Uh, it, it helps the plants around me, so that's pretty good. I'm closing in to the third part. It should start around here when I'm pointing with my finger. Uh, I will write down what I think. Uh, and maybe we could uh, get a full on review during, um, during the live stream. Uh, of course, I. I will have to think a little bit about the scoring I'm gonna give it. Uh, I have to um, think about all the all the things, uh, uh, construction and uh, and taste and the burn and all that to to put together the score. Uh, I don't base the score just of uh, the taste, it's a lot of different factors that uh, get together to, to determine the score. I have also recently on my cigar blog, I have uh, uh, put in uh, the reviews into the different categories of score um, so now you can see on the on the website um, if you just want to see really good cigars uh, with a score between I think it's 90 to 95 or 91 to 95 uh, you can click on that and see which which cigars I have um, given that score and also the, all the other scores as well. I'm not too cold yet so I think I will do uh, another review as well. Um, maybe drink some water between this one to so the flavors don't um, dis get distracted, Stump something like that. I maybe even uh, move locations. Maybe I will do a live stream about uh, that cigar as well. We'll see. Um, yeah. good to know if they would be any good recommendation from you. Uh, of, uh, of which cigars do you think? Are you thinking about? Any particular ones? Or, or if I get some of the other Chinese or Japanese cigars if I were to recommend them or of the Japanese cigars. Yeah, we'll see uh, if I can get a hold of some. I have a couple of cigars um, left to do reviews on and that are sitting in my humidors just waiting for, for a good time. Uh, I also have some cigars um, from, uh, from America uh, heading over to me so I can do reviews on them as well. Um, yeah, there's uh, a lot of interesting cigars heading my way uh, and I will try to do uh, uh, as good reviews as possible. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe setting up a specific uh, cigar review channel on YouTube. I have my personal channel at the moment with all kinds of stuff but maybe uh, a cigar blog uh, YouTube page would be better. Um, 
Yeah, if 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 there is Japanese cigars, uh, and if I get uh, more than one of uh, of each, I most certainly will do a Japanese whiskey and cigar taste test. Um, most definitely, I have a couple um, different Japanese whiskies at home. Um, I think would match perfectly with the cigar. Now I'm getting into the third and final part of the cigar. I know I don't think it's you can see so much. Mostly the dark, dark shadow of the cigar against the light in the background. Um, I would say it's starting to head back to the first part. So there's a little bit spiciness, not like a chili spiciness as I as I felt in the first part, but um, there's some spices for sure. Um, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, I don't think, uh, maybe, cool, I, I have uh, uh, Hibiki Harmony, uh, Hibiki uh, 17 year old, I think, or 18 year old, no, 17 year old, uh, Anika, 17 year old, and also uh, a Japanese rum called uh, Ryom, Se 7 year old. It's it's not too warm, I wouldn't say. Um, I haven't smoked it too fast, uh, I think. Um, there's still like a a medium uh, a medium warmth to it perhaps the cold air around keeps the the heat down as well uh, so it's not too hot i'm not getting any bitter flavors or or stuff like that that you usually get with uh, uh, w with cigars when you get to den but I'm just gonna write down that the flavors keeps it's pretty much the same. Oh, it got really dark here now. Uh, I will see if I can move. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Let's just pack away the stuff that I don't need to have in front of me right now. So I can move to a brighter location. Can follow. Let's see here. If could move so there's a little bit more light on me. Maybe sit out here somewhere. I could, I could do that. Yeah. Sit here so I have a little bit more light on me. See here, like that. Now 
I have to hold the phone, but hey. <laughs> At least now you can see me enjoying the cigar. I don't think the flavors will change so much uh, during uh, during this um, third and final part. Um, I think they will keep pretty much the same. Usually that's the case with cigars, I feel. Uh, at least the ones that I do reviews on keeps pretty much the same as uh, the first part. So in the first part you usually get a little bit more intense flavors and then the second part it gets a little bit more mellowed down and uh, in the final third the flavors get a little bit more intense as well. I have the Yamakasaki 12 year old Mikiago single malt and a bottle of Nika from the barrel. Oh nice! Nika from the barrel is a good standard uh, Japanese whiskey in my opinion. A little bit uh, heavier on the spirit side like with the taste it's a little bit more heavy. Uh, the Yamasaki 12 year old uh, fantastic uh, uh, whiskey. I haven't tried the Mikia Mikia Chikku single malt. I've been looking on maybe getting a bottle of uh, of the Mars. I've been looking around a lot. Um, we'll see. Yeah, the Yamasaki is great. Uh, if you've tried the Yamasaki 17 year old, no, 18 year old, that's fantastic. It's one of my favorite um, single malt Japanese whiskies. It's the Yamasaki 18 year old. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, but it's pricey. It's pricey for sure. Well, I don't, I don't really know if I'm not so. So I, I know more about champagnes and uh, so blended champagnes and and vintage champagnes and also the the blended port wines and uh, vintage port wines. Uh, but I think it should be the same for the single malt or blended. Um, I've mostly drank single malt Japanese whiskey. Um, I, I think the the Hibiki Harmony, if I'm not wrong, it's a blended whiskey. It's good. It's still really good. Um, yeah. Just rock the ash on myself <laughs> like a scrub. Oh well, shit happens. There's a lot of people walking by looking at me uh, like I'm. Uh, A weird man sitting here smoking cigars and talking to a phone. Oh well. Oh. When you think about Charlie, Charlie pops up in the chat. Oh, you're in class. Oh, great. I was thinking about calling you later but w when you finish class or maybe I should write it because I don't think you can hear me uh, when do you finish class
it's sad that uh, the chat won't get uh, saved when I save the video later on. Oh well. Oh, okay, so you will be available when. Woo! Live cigar review. Yeah, I'm doing the live cigar review of the the Royal Danish Hammers. No, Thor's Hammer. Um, I'm just at the end, but I'm thinking uh, maybe I should um, finish up pretty soon. Uh, so. So I can go in and drink some water. And also finish the review. I have to write down the last parts of the review as well before I go in and do something else. Yeah, uh, we will show a movie on Saturday. I haven't chosen the movie yet. Um, maybe I will, I will see if I can find something more Halloween related since it's Halloween this Saturday, not the past one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will prob probably put some up in the group. Uh, tomorrow or the day after that. Hello, Cigar Kings. Hello, Philip. Nice that you could join. It. No, I, I will not show that. Uh, if I will show it, um, I won't be in the lounge. I won't be watching that shit. <laughs> That's for sure. I hate scary movies. I can't I can't watch scary movies it's I, I can't do it but I, I will find something good to to show on Saturday for sure I will I will end the stream here and uh, um, you'll see the review pop out maybe later tonight or or tomorrow um, I have some stuff to do, but yeah. And I will see if I could make a um, publish the, the the videos on my blog or on uh, YouTube. So last Saturday I showed the Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, fantastic movie. Maybe he has some other good movies we could watch. Yeah. See you guys later. Take care. And I will finish this review and put it up for you. Take it care.